As we look back over the last 12 months for Ashes of Creation, it's hard not to agree that it has been a very fun and productive year following the development of the game. Ashes moved to Unreal Engine 5, we got our first look at the character creator, the riverlands, the desert biome, range combat, melee combat, the new world map, and many, many more things from Intrepid Studios. It has been an absolutely fantastic year for Ashes, and although we have another week to go in 2022, we can already tell from the December livestream that Intrepid is going to continue to push the momentum going into 2023. In the last stream, we got a few teases of what to expect next year. Some of these features coming up very soon, while other features coming in the months down the road. But in the January livestream, we will get our first look at the revamped tank archetype. We last saw the tank in Alpha 1 before the whole combat revamp the game received, and although I normally tend to avoid the tank class, I am excited to see what Intrepid is doing with it. We know that active blocking will be a big part of the tank hybrid system, with hopefully having stamina management in play as well, but that's about all we've heard about the tank since Alpha 1. And with the tank finally ready to show, that means the holy trinity of heals, damage, and tank should be almost ready to take us on an adventure to fight through some dungeons. But we will talk about that in a minute. I imagine in the January livestream, we will see something similar to the November livestream as Steven and a small party are running through a specific area, because like the healer, the tank is best shown off in group gameplay. But I am really hoping that this time around, Steven takes a bit more time to demonstrate the tank and its abilities than we got for the cleric in November. And with the new year, hopefully we will see a new biome for Steven to play around with as well. Taking us out of the Riverlands and perhaps into the desert area of the game, I'm really hoping to see more of that come together. I don't think we will see a dungeon or any boss fight at all though in January, as Intrepid stated that we will in fact see the Cyclops world boss in the next two to three months. So potentially in February, but I would put my money on March. Just to make sure that Intrepid shows us the most polished look they possibly can for our first Alpha 2 boss fight. This boss isn't going to be your normal stand in a small area boss, as the devs tease that we'll be taking this boss on through different heights and terrain, as this is one of those guys who wanders through the zone looking for his next victim as he towers over the trees and the players in that area. A bit further down the road, we know that we will in fact be seeing the Bard in 2023 as well. The Bard is that class that seems to have fallen off a bit in modern MMORPGs, where its role has been merged a bit with a healer. So I'm excited to see Intrepid's take on this support class and hopefully burn it back into the MMO fold. We also learned from the environment team that they have begun work on the Redwood Forest. We got a small glimpse of the area just outside this zone in the November livestream, up in the mountains with bigger trees, although it's still technically the Riverlands, but it's basically right on the border of that zone, Steven said. We also got a bit of concept art of the actual zone, which really seems to have a magical take on it. This forest region, as you can see on the map, is massive and it's a good chunk of the northern part of Vandegar. But my concern is that the environment team stated that they're excited to get into this zone, which they've begun a little bit of work on, implying that they haven't done much with it. So maybe my prediction of the world map being completed in a rough form was potentially wrong, or they just haven't gone through that zone to give it the true love that it deserves. It's hard to say, and I really have no clue at this point how much of the map is actually completed for Ashes, even in a rough form. I'm hoping it's more than they've let on. We have seen a lot. We've seen the tropics, the riverlands, the desert. We've seen some snowy areas, but still not even close to half the map. Although personally, I really don't think this zone is going to be in Alpha 2 anyways, so we might not see much of it at all, as it didn't have a name on the map, and until I am told otherwise, I will stand by my statement of the named zones on the map being the Alpha 2 zones. I have no idea why otherwise Intrepid would only put names on a fraction of the zones. There was no mention of any Alpha tests or spot tests in this stream, but I imagine we won't hear anything on that until they are finished moving to Unreal Engine 5.0. One, but hopefully 2023 is the year we get to see this game really come together and jump into Alpha 2 to try it out for ourselves because I really don't know how many more years I can drag on this channel with very minimal content. I mean, I'm gonna do it regardless, but like, it's a struggle. What are your thoughts on what was revealed for 2023 so far? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally play the game. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.